controlling serpentine polymorphic. So why we are doing this is actually uh, the operation of, of, of the ocean crust is very important since recent or decades actually. One in attractive aspect is of production of hydrogen after the reactions. So with different species in ocean to form like organics. So which means this is a this is a uh, which means the organic is formed uh, by the by the abiotic organic synthesis. One of the fundamental questions to solve the evolution of life on Earth. Two questions, two main questions about two main questions about uh, uh, hydrogen production is how hydrogen is produced and uh, how the environment uh, affects the process. Uh, for the first one, scientists many works has been done. Scientists has has come to uh, have come to an agreement about about that the redox, the redox of ion spaces uh, produce the hydrogen which is controlled by magnetite fluid equilibrium. The ion is usually coming from the ion olivine and ion peroxins. Uh, the second, for the environment, several, uh, since then, uh, three parameters are focused, are focused on. One is temperature, second pressure, and, also, and of course the chemical compositions. Several studies prove, uh, reviewed that Temperature uh, can affect the thermal stability of organs. Uh, when the temperature gets higher than 330, uh, the olivine become very stable. So the hydrogen is usually formed, is usually one of the temperature is lower than 350 degrees C. Uh, right now, for the pressure is uh, negligible. Uh, not so much work. Hydrogen productions uh, uh, for chemical compositions. Several of uh, uh, several uh, lumina can affect the process of subtilization. Usually, it has a positive effect influence, uh, but mechanism related is unclear. So. So I have done some work. Okay. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to increase the volume. So uh, the idea about this project is based on one is based on one of my pre previous experiments. Uh, I I did some experiments on the uh, with the uh, reaction of uh, olive and in a alumina rich environment, uh, the result the uh, among the hydrogen production is uh, affected by the reactions. The cause when I mean, uh, I am sorry, wait a minute. Still unclear right now. I think now it's okay. Okay, so when the alumina is added into a system. So uh, it can promote the ion to attend the, the crystallization of lithite. Uh, so the so so makes lice ion to attend the redox reactions to produce hydrogen. Uh, the difference this result has been promoted by is supported by the uh, not only by the EDS analysis but also the the 
morphology dif differences observed observed in TM results, and which is also consistent with the uh, serpentine distributions uh, in brief, uh, briefly crystal deal. Crystal deal like likes the uh, automorphic system, but these light uh, prefer uh, prefer morphic system. These two uh, these two rocks. Uh, shares almost the same alteration process. The difference is the difference is uh, they can create it. They can pro produce different products because of the alumina and silica uh, concentrations. Based on this, uh, uh, and since this is just one one of my experiments and hasn't been uh, published for other uh, from other studies, so. Uh, my start, my this project is trying to firstly to try and figure out if this is true, like whether alumina can affect the iron content in serpentine, and also if so, uh, how much alumina is needed to form these lights. The hydrogen production and the relationship with organic formations is the further studies. Uh, right now, uh, we are going to firstly, of course, collecting data. The keywords we are going to use serpentine, this light crystal here. And uh, I would suggest to collect it uh, like roughly 150 to 200 publications. The journal we are going to focus on is American Mineralogy, Canadian Mineralogy, Geology, and general, general, uh, Generals published by AGU. Uh, information we are going to collect is publications and mineral information. Uh, I'm going to create two spreadsheet uh, links by the reference IDs. And the uh, mineral information uh, uh, mostly like locations, coordinates if possible, and the rock types and uh, the specific rock name and uh, mineralogy things, uh, uh, and, also, and also the major elements compositions of the, uh, of the min minerals. Right now, actually, we uh, our group have two questions. If the general general group have the uh, data of these publications, and also any updates for the Python grams that we can use efficiently to sort tables. Thanks. Okay, I think a lot of other groups had uh, a lot of experiences for the questions that you raised. I think you could yes. check, chat more with other group leaders.